Hey everybody, it's Taylor. Uh, today we are going to cover how to do both layer adjustments, but then also restrict those layer adjustments to specific parts of an image. So to start out, I've got this image here. It's kind of um, poor quality. If we take a look under image and image size, uh, you can see it's not so hot at 640 by 480. This is something I just grabbed off of a photo booth, which comes with the Macintosh operating system, but it's fine for our demonstration purposes. So first we're going to pick an area that we want to restrict our modifications to. If we take a look here at the Paths tab, you can see that I've created a path that defines just my lips, so I can mess around with the color of um, the lips in this photograph. And then I'm going to head back to Layers. Okay, uh, I have my background highlighted. That's the only layer I'm currently working with. And then I'm going to go up to Layer and New Adjustment Layer. And there's a couple that I want to talk about, although I really encourage you to investigate every single option you've got here. So first we've got a pairing of brightness and contrast and then levels. So if I select brightness and contrast, one of the options I'll get, and this is the same set of options if I picked really any of those adjustment layers, is whether or not I want to use the previous layer to create a clipping mask. Now it's a little confusing the way that they've got this um, phrased, because you would think, well, my previous layer is just the background. By previous it means the highlighted layer. And um, the background covers the entire image. So that would effectively mean that um, I'd be applying this to the entire background, right? Actually, in this case, if I have this checked, and if I've also got an active path, active to the extent that I can see it on top of the image, that means that the adjustment I'm about to make will be restricted just to the interior of that active path. So I'll hit OK, and then you can see here in layers, I've got a brightness and contrast layer. I've also got a layer mask. Right? So it shows me in this little tiny thumbnail the area that the adjustments will be restricted to. And then in addition to the brightness and contrast uh, visual icon, I also have this little arrow, which tells me that I'm tied to the uh, layer immediately beneath. So here if I mess with my brightness and contrast, I can uh, take myself up into uh, <laughs> sort of lipstick territory. Or for example, if we want to go a little uh, more goth, I could pull the brightness and um, the contrast around until I get something like this. If I head to the, um, the pen tool or a vector editing arrow and hit enter, I can hide that path, which I can always get back under the Paths tab because I've titled it Lips. Okay, so uh, I can always return to this item by double clicking it. If I've gone somewhere else, then the um, options will pop back over here and it remains dynamic so I can kind of get that material back. Um, really uh, fart around with this here. And you can see that also the path doesn't have to be visible in order for me to uh, make these uh, manipulations.